Respond, Samsung Galaxy S9 Review The Samsung Galaxy S9 is all about the camera. Samsung's tagline for its ninth generation flagship phone is the camera. Reimagined, and it's keen to let you know it has done a lot of work on the snapper. Why is it so keen to focus on this feature? It may be because, on the surface, there's very little to visually differentiate the new Galaxy S9 from the phone it's replacing, the Samsung Galaxy S8. A quick scan of the S9 spec sheet shows the same infinity display screen size, 5.8 inches, resolution, QHD+, and aspect ratio, 18.5 to 9, as its predecessor, and the similarities don't end there. The Samsung Galaxy S9 also packs the same size battery, 3, mAh, and the same amount of RAM and internal storage, 4 GB and 64 GB, while also retaining the headphone jack and IP68 dust and water resistant rating. Samsung Galaxy S9 release date and price. The Samsung Galaxy S9 release date is set for March 16th globally, but you can pre-order the handset right now if you're in Europe. Galaxy S9 pre-orders opened at 7 p.m. 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. ET, 10 a.m. PT, on Sunday 25th of February, but currently there's no word on price or availability from retailers and carriers. Design As we said at the outset, the Samsung Galaxy S9 doesn't look all that different to the phone it's replacing. On closer inspection you may notice that the bezels above and below the display have been trimmed down a little, helping to reduce the overall height of the phone. It's meant Samsung has added a few fractions of a millimeter to the width and thickness of the Galaxy S9 to ensure it can still fit all the internal components in, with it measuring 147.7 by 68.7 by 8.5 millimeters, but it's still more than manageable in the hand. It's heavier than the S8 as well at 168 grams, versus 155 grams, but it remains lighter than the iPhone X, 174 grams. Samsung has made the screen darker when it's off, and hidden the iris scanner hole in the bezel above the display to allow it to obscure the boundaries between screen and bezel, and to minimize visual elements for a cleaner, smarter and more minimalist appearance. On the right side of the phone the only interruption to the metal frame is the power, lock key, while on the opposite side you'll find the volume rocker above the Bixby button, yep, Samsung is sticking with its assistant shortcut key. Display There are no surprises when it comes to the display on the Samsung Galaxy S9, as it's exactly the same as the screen on the S8. That means you get a 5.8-inch QHD Plus offering with Samsung's eye-popping Super AMOLED panel and the taller 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio, which is increasingly becoming the norm for flagships after appearing on a handful of phones last year. It still features the Infinity Display too, ensuring that 90% of the front of the phone is screen, leaving even less bezel than on its predecessor for an excellent viewing experience. The curved edges of the screen provide a futuristic finish, and it's a great display for watching movies and playing games. Samsung has made it easier to use the Galaxy S9 in landscape mode as well, with the whole UI, user interface, now rotating to fit the widescreen layout, reducing the frequency you need to rotate the phone between portrait and landscape. DisplayMate has shared the impressive results of its testing of the S9's new AMOLED screen and the results are, unsurprisingly, fantastic. Rear Camera The big talking point for the Samsung Galaxy S9 is the camera, and more specifically the rear-facing 12MP option. In scenarios where the light is over 100 lux, roughly from sunrise onwards, the Galaxy S9 camera defaults to f/2.4 reducing the amount of light hitting the sensor to prevent images from being overexposed. The handset used was actually the Galaxy S9 Plus, but it uses the same technology, which means you can expect the same results from the S9. In short, the Galaxy S9 Plus beat the Pixel 2 XL comfortably. It wasn't even close, the Samsung captured the far superior image with more detail, more clarity and less noise, according to Samsung, 30% less noise than its previous generation of cameras. Slow motion video at 960 fps is recorded at 720p, HD, while 240 fps slow mo can be grabbed at full HD, 1080p, resolution. R emoji. 
another big feature for the Galaxy S9, and another that's linked to the camera, is our emoji. It's a reaction to Animoji on the iPhone X, but the Galaxy S9 does things slightly differently by snapping a selfie of you and then creating a 3D animated character in your likeness. Battery and Performance Samsung has equipped the Galaxy S9 with the same 3 comma mAh battery as the S8, and we're told this will offer similar performance to the S8. Due to the need for specific carrier network support, the US variant of the Galaxy S9 will use Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon 845 system on a chip to ensure it works with all the major carriers. Both chipsets are paired with 4GB of RAM, which is 2GB less than what's inside the Galaxy S9 Plus, but it still provides enough grunt to keep the Android 8 Wario operating system running smoothly.